Hey everyone and welcome to another session in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And you're in the right place to hone your ninja skills in all of your favourite desktop and mobile Adobe apps. So what we're going to take a look at in this movie is something based on a question from the comments on an earlier video about creating a donut chart, similar to the thing I've got going on here. And the question was around adding text labels in all of the segments. And it is actually really easy to achieve, but as usual, there are smarter ways around doing it. So I've got my chart just here, and what I'm going to do is select the ellipse tool, and then come down to the center, the smart guides here, helping me out. Now, if that graphic behind was causing me problems, I could turn off that layer, but I think this is just about fine. Uh, just down here. So there we go. There's the center. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and Shift, and then I'm going to draw outwards like so. And the line I'm going to draw, you're probably thinking it's going to be down here, but it's not. It's going to be in the middle there, like so, as close to the middle as I can get it. And if you drew the shape, then you probably can get that exactly. Okay, so there's the shape that I've got. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to cut that up into segments. So if I tap C on my keyboard to get the scissors tool, I'm basically going to make my way around, starting at the top here, just click there to cut at that point, come down to the end of the first pie slice there and click, and then onto the next one there and click. More or less is good enough, I think, uh, for this. Okay, and then to that slice there and click like so. So I've got four wedges in my pie or in the donut that you can see, and now I've got four paths. I'm then going to switch to the type tool, and I'll come over to the first of these paths and just click, and I get some placeholder text just here. Now this was already set up earlier, the text that I'm using, but of course I could model that however I wanted it. I'll now come down and click at the bottom, and on the side just here, and just on this path just there. There we go, I've got all the text I need. I'm not gonna bother typing anything in there because believe it or not, this is made up. But there you go. So now I've got those things, I'm actually going to select all four of these, okay? So I'm just gonna hit for all four there, like so, so I've got them all selected. Then I'll go up to the type menu in the top level menu system here, and come down to type on a path, and then type on a path options. And what I'm going to do here, if I just turn on preview, is rather than the default of baseline, I'm going to get this to set to the center of the text. And you'll see now the text sits just neatly along its center line. And just as something to note, it helps here if you're using uppercase, because upper and lowercase can look a bit odd. It looks like it's not truly in the middle, but you could always get around that with a bit of baseline shift if you wanted to. So they're all in the right place. What I need to do now is for each one, if I just click away for a second and select the first one, is actually get the start point of the text just here. And if I drag that across like so, okay, and go to the other end, in fact, it's already there, and I'm going to center align this by using the command shift command, that would be shift control on Windows C, like so, to center that, or you can click in the interface if you want to. And then I need to repeat that with each one so that the text is nicely centered in each segment. And again, that probably is something I could have set up uh, earlier if I'd wanted to. I accidentally went into the text there, so let's come out of that. And the icon you're looking for looks like a small bar just on the side, just to make sure you're getting exactly the right thing. Okay, and I'll just move the text there accidentally. I'll just come back. Here's that bar. You can just about see it. It's tricky to get hold of. If I move that out like so, okay, and this one's already on that end, and then I'll center that. So why do you need to go to the trouble of centering that line? Well, the answer is really easy because if you wanted all of your text to point towards true north, for example, then it's very easy to just come along and grab the widget here 
and then just push the widget to the other side. And because it's using the center of the text, then you can see that it's nicely in place. I don't have to do any other bits of fiddling around with it. And there you go. That's a skill you can pick up and practice with today. Don't forget, please do subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, then let me know by clicking the like below. Hit the bell for notifications once you're subscribed. And I'll see you next time here in the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo. See ya.